Well, Sam, you have been here working out with the team for a couple weeks now. Just what's your, what's your comfort level? Uh, it's, I'm definitely a lot more comfortable now than I was first day with the vets here. Um, you know, I've had obviously a lot more experience now with this offense. I've been in the huddle with the guys, been able to make the calls, get up to the line, go through the reads. And I think, you know, the more repetitions I get, the better I feel, the more comfortable I feel. And, you know, I still think I have a long way to go, but, you know, if I continue to progress the way that I've progressed, I think it's going to be all right. What, what is the hardest part about all this, about being a rookie? You mentioned the, the first day when the vets were here. I mean, how nerve-wracking is it? Are you asking yourself, how do I fit in? Yeah, um, you know, especially at my position, when I have to step into the huddle, you know, and look at guys who have been in the league for six, seven, eight, ten years, even some guys, you know, I have to call the play. Um, you know, that's a little bit nerve-wracking, knowing that, you know, I'm, I'm the one who's got to set the tone for everything in the huddle, you know, when there's guys who have had way more experience than me. And, you know, that was something that I had to get used to. It was a little bit intimidating at first, but, you know, you just kind of take a, a, a deep breath and realize that, you know, at the end of the day, it's still football. It's something that, you know, I've done since I was a little kid, you know, it's something that I love to do. And, you know, I'm extremely fortunate to be in the position that I am right now. We've got Steven Jackson in the backfield, one of the top running backs in the NFL. How much do you think he will help your development? There is absolutely no doubt that, you know, having him in the backfield is going to make my job, you know, a lot easier, you know, especially as a rookie. You know, you look at him on film, you know, just watching tape from last year and some of the things that he was able to do. Knowing that teams are going to have to come down and put an extra guy in the box, which will open up some passing lanes, I mean, that's huge. At some point this season, do you expect to start? Um, you know, it's tough. I really, I really can't answer that. Um, you know, that's not my decision. It's not my call. You know, all I can control is, you know, how I come to the facility, my attitude, my work ethic. You know, I know that right now I'm working as hard as I can to learn as much as possible, as quick as possible. If I continue to progress and the coaches feel that I should be the starter, then, you know, I'm fine with it. If not, that means I just got to work a little harder. How important is it to you to make sure that, hey, I'm just one of the guys, I'm just a rookie, but at the same time, balancing out the fact that you're the quarterback and you're the guy mm -hmm. that people are going to look to? Yeah, um, being the number one draft pick, you know, I think that is, you know, a huge honor. You know, I think the Rams for the opportunity, but at the same time, I also realize that, you know, I haven't done anything at the pro level. You know, I have a long way to go. You know, before I am where I want to be, I realize that, you know, I have to put in so much work to get there. You know, being a rookie quarterback, you do have to have confidence in yourself. You have to be able to walk into the huddle and take command. The guys who are on the field with you have to believe in you. So there's a little bit of a balancing act, but I think I'm trying to, trying to do it the best I can right now.